Hello and thanks for watching this video, a series of new features for Acumatica 2020 R2. So in this video, we're going to talk about how you can restrict your customers to specific company branches. So traditionally, what we have in Acumatica is the ability to have different tenants, which isolates all the data. And you see that when you log into Acumatica, right at the login prompt here, you would see a company drop down and every tenant is a separate company, separate set of data. But we also have multi-company and multi-company and we have a video for multi-company and, and I invite you to look at that and understand it a little bit better. But multi-company has a fair share of advantages in that you can share things like customers, inventory items, you can share things like inventory, you have multi-warehouse, and there's a lot of flexibility there, but sometimes there's a requirement to start to restrict things. So one of the things that's important is the ability to separate customers between different companies. And that's a new feature that's here in Acumatica 2020 R2. So if we take a look at the customer profile, and we look at active staffing, for example, we have the setting now called restrict visibility. And what you can do here, you see it's a drop down for the company selector up here at the top. You can restrict this customer to a specific company or branch. And then once you do that, other branches can't see that customer. Now this setting also exists at the customer class level. If we take a look at it, where anytime I create a customer using this customer class, it'll automatically inherit these settings, specifically the restrict visibility too. So if we were to change this and change this to maybe services East and save it, If we went to users, and we were to look up this particular user, Martin, Acumatica role-based security allows this user to have access to accounts receivable, can view accounts receivable, read-only access. But all users have the ability to be separated out by branch. In other words, this user has specific rights. It can get to the product company, but not revision to capital or services company. So that's how that correlates. So the fact that that other customer is restricted to services and this particular user doesn't have access to the services, this particular user won't see that active staffing customer. So for example, if we were to log into this user and we're logged into the products wholesale, that's the default for this user, and we go to receivables and we look under customers, we can't see that active staffing anymore. It's been hidden from us. So that's how that works. Notice also because this user only has access to this particular company, that's all you see here the products company. Now, Acumatica also has things like row level security. They can be very time consuming to set up, but row level security gives you the ability to have restriction groups by customer. You can create those up, assign them to a list of users, and that can be a process, but it can take a lot of time. This now gives you a quick, easy ability to separate out your customers by company or branch. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Have a great day.